Hi mga ka-BBM! Tunghayan natin ngayon ang isang napakagandang proyekto ni President Marcos. Kasama niya ang mga magagaling nating scientists. Alam naman natin ang ating bansa ay talaga namang bagyuhin from January up to December. Kung minamalas-malas ka pa nga sa isang buwan, ay meron tayong apat na sunod-sunod na bagyo. Itong proyekto na ito, Anti-Typhoon Rocket, ay makakatulong sana sa pagpapaangat ng ating ekonomiya. Alam naman natin na tuwing may bagyo, nawawasak ang mga kabahayan, buildings, highways, at minsan ay mga tulay. At hindi lang yon pati ang mga crops. So, ito ay malaking apekto sa ating ekonomiya. At bumabawi pa ng napakaraming mga buhay. So mga ka-BBM, ito sana yung ating mapapakinabangan ngayon. Subalit sa kasamaang palad, noong napatalsik si President Marcos, ito ay hindi na napag-usapan. Maraming mga nagsabi na imbensyon na ito ay naibenta na sa ibang bansa. So imbis na tayo ang makinabang, ang ibang bansa ang nakikinabang sa talino ng ating mga scientists. Ganyan ang nangyari noon sa panahon ni Cory Aquino nang pinagbibenta niya ang mga assets ng gobyerno. So tunghaya natin mga kaibigan, tingnan natin kung gaano kaganda ito. Kung sana ay natuloy lamang, ito ay makatulong sa atin para ang ating ekonomiya ay tuloy-tuloy na umangat at tuloy-tuloy tayo sa pag-unlad. Isipin nyo lang mga kaibigan na maunlad na tayo pagkatapos biglang merong isang super typhoon katulad ng Yolanda. Nawasak ang mga kabahayan, nawasak ang mga buildings, nawasak yung mga roads, bridges. Nawasak yung mga crops. Napakalaki ng epekto nun. Bilyon, bilyon. Kaya mga kaibigan, napakahalaga talaga ng proyekto na ito ni President Marcos. Pero hanggang anong nangyari, hindi natin napakinabangan dahil lang sa isang greedy na si Cory Aquino. Panawarin natin. Philippines is a small country, but did you know that during the time of former President Ferdinand e. Marcos, Philippines was one of the most powerful countries in Southeast Asia? Yes, that's a fact. Marcos saw the Philippines as a promising country in terms of resources and financial stability. He had many projects that aimed to make the lives of the Filipinos better in the future. One of his projects was the anti-typhoon rocket in 1973, the Philippines developed a missile system called Rain Weather Stimulation and Modernization Program. It was headed by Philippine Air Force Call. Ramon Macabiahe, together with a group of Filipino scientists and engineers. The goal of this project was to create a rocket that can weaken a storm before it becomes a full-blown typhoon. The rocket used was a wooden rocket that contained silver iodide. Silver iodide agi is a crystalline material often used for weather modification such as cloud seeding or anti-hail systems. It is also used as an antiseptic material. According to several publications, the anti-typhoon rockets are similar to the missiles in warfare but the aim is to weaken the storm. It is said that the rockets will be fired from a distance to protect the pilot and the aircraft. It does not need to fly the plane right into the eye of the typhoon. Many test fires were tried in the Pacific Ocean and was considered successful. After having delivered the rocket with silver iodide, the typhoon broke into small groups and the wind and rainfall level was reduced. However, the modification of this rocket was not continued because Marcos was removed as the president. When Cory Aquino took over, all of the projects of Marcos was stopped. There are many speculations about why Aquino stopped the projects of Marcos, but those are already outside the scope of this topic. This project and its blueprint was also believed to be already sold to other nations. It is also said that Marcos was removed from the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA, because his project contradicted the project of the United States, which is known as the Geostorm. Today, the anti-typhoon rocket was just a part of history. Maybe if this project was pushed through, it would have saved May lives and millions of lost properties caused by brutal typhoons, like Anjoy 2009, Yolanda 2013, and Ampong 2018 that hit the Philippines. 